Protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. Welcome back to the Caravan Channel. If you've got a caravan, it's a fair bet that you've got a tow bar. But what if you're a motorhomer? Well, some of us want tow bars too. And if you want a tow bar on your motorhome, take a look at this next piece because we go to Watling Engineers to find out exactly what's involved. Watling Engineers is uh, an engineering company that's been uh, established for some 60 years now. It's a family-run business and we're predominantly towing bracket manufacturers. Uh, we also do uh, caravan trailer servicing and repairs and um, uh, most, most things relating to towing and tow bars. Uh, fitting a tow bar can be a complicated process depending entirely on the vehicle that you've got in front of you at the time. Um, it can range from really straightforward four bolts uh, and you're done to fabricating a bespoke item from scratch uh, including all the cutting, uh, welding, painting and finishing that that requires. Some people can do a DIY version for the um, pre-made items where uh, fitting is simply following a set of instructions that can be done at home. Um, for the more complicated fabrication jobs I would recommend a specialist tow bar fitting service. Today we've got uh, a bespoke tow bar being made and fitted to an auto trail motorhome. Um, in this instance there was nothing available off the shelf uh, so after getting the vehicle into the workshops we've uh, designed, uh, fabricated and fitted a, a bespoke one-off item for this vehicle. What we've got here, detachable tow bar for this vehicle, made, designed this morning for it. Um, detachable section here that can be removed by two bolts. Ball sits on here. Um, when not in use can be removed, nice neat appearance. This morning basically we measured the vehicle, had a look at what the extensions on this vehicle were, how they were attached, decided where the best place for attachment was. Um, then started cutting material to size, tacking together and just slowly building a crossbar assembly. To fit it, first of all, we have to drill two sets of holes up into these chassis rails, two each side, and then lift crossbar assembly up into place here, picking on two bolts each side and a, a third bolt down here. Some of these type of tow bars can be complicated to fit. Corner steadies in the way, spare wheels, gas tanks, uh, they can make life awkward at times. Um, but then again you can have some that you have plenty of space and can just pick straight up on. Uh, from the customer's point of view, uh, we would normally receive uh, a phone call from the customer. Uh, it could be anywhere in the country, we get people coming from all over the place to come and see us. Um, we would then book them in for a uh, suitable day that's convenient to both them and us, obviously. Um, we usually like the vehicle to arrive at about 8.30 in the morning, uh, at which point it's brought into the workshops and uh, we'll design and um, decide where the tow bars to be fitted. Um, after that, various sections of seal are cut, tacked together, uh, fitted to the vehicle to make sure that everything is going to be suitable once the final uh, product is done. Um, once we're happy with everything, the tow ball's at the correct height um, and uh, it's of sufficient strength for the vehicle's limitations. We um, weld, the, weld the item up and um, it's painted, finished and uh, usually fitted in the afternoon uh, and is ready sometime between three and four that day. Uh, at the moment costs are for a bespoke design and fit, depending on the wiring, but they're between uh, 500 and 550 plus a VAT, so uh, between 600 and 660 pounds all in. That's uh, designed, fitted, wired and ready to go. Uh, with regards to unusual vehicles here, we've had everything from 12 ton horse boxes, um, ambulances, uh, fire engines, uh, American air base, uh, pickup trucks, um, commercial vehicles of all kinds, ice cream vans uh, and a good deal of motorhomes from around the world ranging from um, 1960s VW campers uh, right up to you know American import um, day vans and things so uh, really the whole spectrum. There's not really an alternative to fitting a tow bar if you want to tow anything. Um, you can carry things on the roof or, or on the racks on the back of the vehicle, but if you've got anything larger than a, than a bike, uh, it, it tends to be uh, a, a tow bar, which is your answer. With that, you can tow 
boats, dinghies, motorbikes, scooters, cars, steam engines, uh, model steam engines, I hasten to add, um, all kinds of things that make owning the motorhome you know, worthwhile. If you're going to these events and shows, activities, you need to get your equipment there. The tow bar is the way to do it.